I will bring back France's sovereignty in all areas, which means the freedom for the French people to decide for themselves and defend their interests. I will control immigration and re-establish security for all. The sanitization of her image began with rebranding from National Front to National Rally in 2018. Whilst her hardline anti-immigration platform has few changes, Le Pen has shifted focus, choosing to concentrate on the current cost of living crisis worsened by the war in Ukraine. Avec les prix du gaz. With the prices of gas, electricity and fuel, nobody dares to be ironic anymore. As president, I will decrease the VAT on all energy products from 20 to 5.5%. Another boon for Le Pen was the rise of fellow far-right candidate and former TV pundit Eric Zemmour. She has relaxed her stances on several issues, abandoning her opposition to marriage equality and abortion, and minimised Frexit and her anti-Europe agenda. By publicly discussing her single mother status and love of breeding cats, Le Pen has further transformed public perception as more accessible and soft. Alright guys, joining us now to discuss the results thus far of the French presidential election is Daniel Nishanian. He is executive editor-in-chief of Bolt Magazine. Welcome Daniel, great to see you again. Good to see you, man. It's great to be here. Thanks for having uh, me. Break down these election results for us. We have, this is a little bit dated, but more or less the results stay the same. Go ahead and throw this first piece up on the screen. So you have um, the incumbent Macron coming in as uh, the first round in first, 28.6% according to this graphic. It has shifted a little bit since then. Second place is Marine Le Pen. She's on the right, 24.4%. And then actually a surprisingly strong showing for the third place there, Jean-Luc Mélenchon, who is on the left. Um, just give me a sense of what was surprising about the, this. And for people who haven't followed closely, this is the first round. The top two contenders, uh, uh, Marine Le Pen and Emmanuel Macron, will go on to a uh, head-to-head -head contest next. So that is what is upcoming. But give people a sense of these different figures and how they position themselves on the political spectrum. Absolutely. So, you know, France has a two-round presidential system, as you were just saying. And yesterday was the first round. And the stakes really were deciding who was going to move on to the runoff, which is in, in two weeks. It's, it's quite a quick turnaround. Um, and in the final weeks of the campaign, effectively, what happened is that the, uh, the far-right forces consolidated more around Marine Le Pen. There was some division there. And the left, including the center-left, a lot of the candidates kept dropping and dropping as more and more people strategic voted as well as um, wanted to vote for Mélenchon. And we ended up with this, uh, with this three, three, with, with, with these three candidates way on top. And the establishment parties that have long ruled France for the past 60, 70 years were just all demolished yesterday. The, 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 the main conservative party, the main center-left party that have really traded off governing France from the 50s to five years ago combined for, for just seven percent of the vote uh, which which is which is really which is which is yeah which is unfathomable if you had told someone that six, six years ago because they were just you know trade, trading off power 